All right, so you've got $600 or so and you want to build a PC. Maybe you want to get into PC gaming, live streaming, or just edit videos for your YouTube channel. Whatever your drill is, you want a PC that's ultimate value for money and price to performance. And this video is just that. So let's get started. Check out the HyperX Cloud Alpha Pro gaming headset. This comes with HyperX's breakthrough dual chamber driver technology, which sounds amazing. It's very comfortable with their signature memory foam ear cups. It has a detachable mic and a cable, and it's very well built with premium materials. Learn more from the link in the video description. All right, so in today's video, I take you guys over a $600 gaming PC. So all the parts that you need to build this PC and the kind of performance you'll get from it and what you can upgrade in the future to get some extra performance. So that's that. Also, I'll leave links to everything I mentioned in this video in the description down below to Amazon US and those are affiliate links. So if you wanna help the channel out and in turn help me make more videos, you can do that. But with that out of the way, let's get to the build itself. All right, for the CPU, we have the AMD Ryzen 5 2600. It's a six core 12 thread beast that's unlocked, so you can overclock to get some extra performance. Comes with 3.6 gigahertz base and a 3.9 gigahertz boost and a 19 megabytes total cache. It only requires 65 watts, so it has a 65 watt TDP and it also comes with its own rate stealth cooler and retails for $115. Now, I know that this is a second generation Ryzen CPU and there is a third generation out and there's you know good CPUs like the Ryzen 5 3500, 3600 but they are still a little bit more expensive in my opinion. And the second generation is gonna give you just awesome value because the third generation is out. So, you know, obviously the previous generation gets a price drop. And for $115, the Ryzen 5 2600 is a steal deal. You can just not get a better multi-threading, you know, performing CPU in the market right now. So in my opinion, you should definitely go for it. And for the motherboard, we have gone with the Gigabyte B450M DS3H. It's AM4, you know, micro ATX motherboard and does have the B450 chipset. Four DDR4 slots, so you can add plenty of RAM. And also this supports overclocking. Has an M.2 slot for super fast storage and also USB 3.0. HDMI and DVI for your outputs and also supports RGB fusion so you can make your PC look a little more beautiful under a budget. All right, so with this Gigabyte B450 motherboard, you can definitely upgrade in the future, add plenty of RAM, add M.2 storage, and yeah, if you're not happy with the second generation in the future, if the performance is just not enough, you can add a third generation Ryzen 7 CPU as well, no problem. For RAM, we have 16 gigabytes of 88 XPG Z1. It is 3000 megahertz on the clock speed and comes with two eight gigabyte sticks. And for $65, this is a steel deal. All right, why 16 gigabytes for a $600 bill? Because gaming and streaming, both activities have become more demanding. So let's say you wanna stream something in OBS, it's gonna eat up a lot of RAM and 16 gigabytes is plenty for streaming, you know, at 1080p, 60 FPS, and you'll have some headroom to do other tasks in the background as well, like, you know, have your overlays running, have some animation, you know, transitions running and you'll have a smooth experience in my opinion. Also, if you wanna save some money and if you're not into live streaming, you can go with eight gigabytes, but I really, really wanna recommend you go with 16 gigabytes, dual channel, and dual channel performance is the best for Ryzen. Like, if you go with single channel, it just doesn't make sense. And yeah, just get the 16 gigabyte kit and be happy forever. All right, for some fast storage, we have the 240 gigabyte Kingston A400 SSD. This is a SATA 3 SSD in the 2.5 inch form factor and should give you, you know, some respectable speeds up to you know 400 megabytes per second read and write. And for $32, it's a really good deal. And for your mass storage, we have the WG Blue one terabyte hard drive with 7200 RPM, 64 megabytes of cache and that big 3.5 inch form factor. But this is a trusty, reliable hard drive for $44. And this is your mass storage. So you should be able to you know store your games your stream library, your big files. If you're editing videos and stuff, you can keep your footage in here, no problem. To power this whole build up, we have the EVGA 500 watt W1. This is the 80 plus white certified power supply with a three year warranty. And that 80 plus you know, certification means you'll get 80% plus efficiency at all times, or at least in ideal conditions. And for $35, again, this is also a really nice deal. For the graphics card, we have the Zotac Gaming GeForce GDX 1660. Six gigabytes of GDDR5 memory, a 192 bit memory interface. It is based on the Turing architecture and has three display ports and one HDMI and comes with a boost clock of 1785 megahertz. And for $200, again, a really nice deal. Now, when it comes to the graphics card, you have two options. You can go with the 1650 Super, which is kind of below this 1660, but that comes with GDDR6 memory. So if you want to be kind of future-proof, you can go with the 1650 Super. If you have a little more extra money, you can go with the 1660 Ti. That comes with, again, GDDR6 memory. But the 1660 is the unlucky, unfortunate brother that comes with GDDR5 memory, but it's six gigabytes, and I think it should be plenty for gaming at 1080p 60 FPS in modern AAA titles, as well as eSports titles that should give you, you know, around 144 FPS or more if you're doing high refresh rate stuff and eSports stuff. 
Also, there should be plenty for live streaming as well as it has the NVENC encoder and NVIDIA is the best for live streaming and NVIDIA should be your only choice when it comes to live streaming. All right, for the case and to wrap this whole build up, we have the RAID Max Neon. It's an ATX mid-tower case with acrylic, you know, front and side panels. This also has a top IO panel with your USB and audio jacks. It comes with three LED fans pre-included. Now they're only white, but there is an RGB version available as well. So you can definitely go ahead and, you know, light up your whole setup. And it, this also supports up to 240 millimeter of liquid cooler and there's a lot of space for your GPU as well as a beefy you know, CPU cooler. So definitely there's a lot of space, good looking, and it comes for $44 and does the job. All right, so now that we are done with the parts, now let's talk about the performance that you're gonna get with this build. Now that we're going for the Ryzen 5 2600 with the GDX 1660 with 16 gigabytes of RAM, that's a really nice kit for gaming at 1080p as well as live streaming and doing some video editing. If you're using Adobe Premiere Pro or Sony Vegas or something like that, you should be able to get some really good results with some decent render times. And yes, live streaming is also possible as I said. So yeah, if you're using OBS or something, you can definitely hook up a 1080p stream to Twitch or YouTube and have no problem. But yes, you will have to play at a lower setting to you know, stream and have a good playable experience. But other than that, for your upgrades, you can go up to Ryzen 3rd generation if you want to. You can upgrade the RAM, you can upgrade the storage as well as the graphics card. If you have money right now, change the parts. If you have money later on in the future, you can just remove this part, maybe sell it on eBay or something and get a new one. So that's about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And yeah, it was a quick you know, suggestion build guide for you guys to go ahead and get a $600 gaming PC. That'll give you really nice value. If you enjoyed, go ahead and smash the like button. If it was helpful, let me know in the comments down below. And also subscribe to the channel and just go ahead and hit that notification bell so you guys don't miss out a future upload. And all the parts that I mentioned in this video will be linked down below in the description. So check them out and help me out by buying from those. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace out.